Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Suki and this is Oxygen Not Included. Oh boy. Did a lot change. <laughs> okay. I'll give you five seconds. Tell me what changed. What What's the first thing you noticed? If you said these incubators, then yes, you're right. But if you said, hey, the bathrooms are over here now, you'd be correct. If you said, hey, what the frig is going on here, you'd be correct. What the frig is going on here, you'd also be correct. Um, also, look how full this water tank is. I'm so proud of us. And the little crappy system that I set up. Though this is kind of backed up and uh, I turned off a water valve here. Just I don't want this to overflow. <laughs> That's not gonna like end up very good for our uh, bustling oxygen system. If you notice that our population is 15, that's also, you know, fine. We're mostly going for... W you're terrible! Um, yes, we have tons of calories as well. Mostly barbecue, some gristle berries, um, frost buns, mushrooms, fried mushrooms. Let's see, what are they allowed to consume? Uh, this is muck fruit. Mockroot. No, don't consume raw mushroom. I almost want to say, like, you guys are exclusively allowed to eat barbecue from now on. Hmm. You'll notice that... Uh, wait, Meep's morale? Total morale is 26. Oh, his need is 12. Okay. Never mind. So you'll notice that, yeah, some things have changed. Um, primarily, it made no sense for me to have them all have their own individual bedrooms, seeing as the morale they get from that is one single point higher than a barracks, I think, right? Barracks is one morale, bedroom is two morale. Yeah. So... There was no point. Um, just bombard them with pretty looking things. Oh, and the storage is gone. Um, bombard them with pretty looking things and they'll be happy all day and all night. The next big thing I found out in a personal offline game uh, that I'm like at cycle 500 already. Um, that you could just build like a universal storage. Where you have these guys set to sweep only allow basically everything except stuff that can melt and you know the stuff that pollutes the base like you know this i i have this set uh, exclusively to slime so that uh, if we sweep up slime sorry if we sweep up slime it gets dumped uh, down here instead um then this changed a bit um i haven't actually I think my dupes just finished setting up this system. So I'm still going to test this layout. These guys produce 2,000 watts of power. These are uh, petrol generators, by the way, with some natural gas generators. That's all going to be coming from the single oil refinery, um, which is basically going to... We're sucking up petrol well, or crude from down here all the way into these tanks over here that acts as a bit of a buffer. From here, it's going to be pump over here into the oil refinery, and then we're going to have somebody that works at those. This is going to pump the gas into these containers, and the fuel is going to be split evenly among these two. So it goes one this way, one that way, one this way, one that way, one this way, one that way. This one sends his uh, petroleum over to the plastic press while this one sends his fuel over to the petroleum generators while the p gas that's pumped out here goes to the gas reservoirs and they split their gas up to these natural gas generators these produce carbon dioxide which gets vented all the way down here 
um, and they spit out, out those little spigots, they spit out polluted water, which will run down into this system over here. Um, so I haven't yet, let's have a look. Oh right, I'm an idiot. Uh, it's good that, that I'm an idiot. Why am I an idiot, guys? Guys, I'm an idiot. Uh, sometimes it's hard being me. But okay. What we did want, as soon as somebody comes over here. Is in. In. Okay. I also installed a mod that makes this three times speed and the fast speed ten times. Because a lot of what I do is just sit and wait for these guys to decide, hey, we're gonna work. Okay, so let's see how this works. It's gonna fill this bad boy up. And then a dupe should come around and work. You see, while we're waiting, this is still pumping. Oh, I also set up this nice little system. These two have clay in them. This has uh, coal in them. And uh, this then, because you don't need duplicates. Like, this needs duplicate labor. Um, one of the requirements for this, let me check where's the refinement. One of the requirements for this is duplicate operation. These guys doesn't. And anything that doesn't have duplicate operation, you can have an auto sweeper do for you. So ceramic just needs coal and clay. And then it mixes the two together automatically. But I've already like filled up this so I can I can kinda switch these off for now. We don't we don't need any more ceramic. Oh, and then he puts it away automatically. I love it. I love it. It's a, it's a great system. Okay, so there we go. We have our first little order. That's me. Ooh, look how quickly that's filling up. And this should then switch off. Okay, why? Where's this water coming from? Does this not actually block? That's good to know. Because then we can deconstruct this. That's fine, uh, whatever. One day somebody will come around and actually do the work. Okay. So what's going on here? I, I noticed that the gas isn't splitting. Ah. What overheat damage? Okay, I'm gonna deconstruct you immediately. Let's get a refinery and build the next oil refinery out of steel. Because that is stupid. Let's try again. The thing is it should kind of get hot in here. You see, because the gas is sucked out, that heat is transferred up here and destroyed. Oh, you still need a gas output, that's right. Your gas can just join with, with the rest. And then I should have... Yeah, but it doesn't matter. So this generates a little bit of electricity and just burns off whatever gas is produced here. While if at any point this electricity gets too low, all these plus these kick in and just produces like way too much power. Let's have a look. Just like that. And boom, those batteries are full. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy how efficient that is. Okay. 
I love how there's just random little bits of water showing up. Where? Where is that freaking water coming from? You know, let's just... Let's just run like a sweep order across this. This will have to cancel. We have nowhere to pour the petrol. That's okay. We can just go like make a bottle emptier and have that just dumped down here. More liquids we will sort out at some point. Look how nice and cool this area is, huh? Alright. So you are going to be petroleum. Thank you. I'm curious about this. Where is this coming from? Because this is going straight down. Very curious. Let's see if it comes back. Seems okay now. And there it's back again. Oh, is, is it these guys? Yeah, they also produce polluted water. Okay, fair. I guess I should have put them on top here with the rest. I actually just might do that. They don't take a partic particularly lot of resources to build. Uh... Then we can kind of just extend this system over here. Oh yeah, let's get the automation also set up. You just showed up and then you leave again. Please stop working. You're wasting my petrol. Deconstruct faster! God, it's like a battle. <laughs> no! Must break it down. Seriously. That single petroleum generator is enough to keep these batteries full. It's insane. What's insane to me is the amount of effort that it takes. Alright. Oh yeah, but we don't need this anymore. Uh, we don't need any of this. In fact, we can kind of... Yeah, just do it like that. Okay, so we can grab the liquid intakes. Just straight up. Ah, new printable. Mm, we want a suit wear. So this is okay. Digging and supplying. So, okay. Lara, you are going to be our last duplicate. I don't want to go above 16. Hmm. And that reminds me, we have to get places for them to eat. Because right now I've got 4, 8, 12. And we need another 2. Alright. 
that reminds me. Uh, schedule. We need to move you to schedule four. I moved the bed so that everybody that's on a shift together sleeps in the same same room. Uh, your priorities are going to be the same as all the previous lads. Oh, you love digging, eh, Lyra? Why is your le excavation skill... Oh, no. Did you get into a suit? Lyra? Lyra, please. Lyra, please. You are not allowed outside of base. You, my dear Lyra, are gonna go run on the gerbil wheels like everybody else. Come on, Lyra. Did I said finish hitting your priorities? Eh. You don't do that. That's fine, that's fine. You don't do those either. Our hatch population is still doing really well. He says, while wow, there's two hatcheries with a short. We have hundreds of stone hatches. I don't know why it's taking so long for these guys to... Bob, what are you doing? We've got thousands of stone hatches. Hmm. I'm worried. Um, but that's fine. Uh, let's have a look at our... Yes. You are now suffering... What is suffering overheat damage? The batteries. Okay, so... This just shows to me that we will have to increase... The cooling area of our cooling loop up here. It'll have to run... Through here as well. It's gonna be a little hard running through there. There's a lot going on. But yeah, this tiny little cooling loop isn't going to cut it. So we're going to have to do something like pop it out here, have radiant oops, radiant pipe more radiant and then down here see this is where the hard part is because we can come down like over here now but that means we'll have to dig out this area. Which is also okay. Um, then plumbing is going to have to jump up here. And then have like... This is going to be tough. I don't want to make all of it radiant. So yeah, switch it up. And then from here on, like that. Okay, that means we will also have to fill this up with more polluted water. Mm. Where did we have some polluted water? I don't think we have any on tap. Except this little bit. Hmm. And I guess, yeah, but we're not generating even nearly enough down there. I do have polluted water in here, right? Yes. Because this is also now getting... Oh, this completely exploded. Oh, but that's because it's made out of lead. Are you also made out of lead? Yeah. All these things that are made out of lead. I guess they're just not used to... These kind of temperatures. Which is perfectly acceptable. 
but yes, this is another big construction project, I want to say, um, which is going to take a little bit of time to clear through. So, it's a little bit of unorthodox, but I think actually that uh, I'm going to cut this episode here for today. Not a lot to look at. But we're just kind of going through the motions, and I feel what we're doing right now, like me playing a little bit and then showing you the stuff that I come up with and how the new system works. Um, I think that's more enough, more than enough than having you just sit there and watching me you know not doing a whole lot of anything but yes uh watch out for the next episode then when i'll have all of this settled out settled out or i'll figure it out and as usual guys i appreciate a like and a comment i would appreciate it even more if you would tap that sub button and tune in on friday for well the next iteration the next little fast forward to see just where I go with this. I'm thinking after we get this all replaced with iron um, and increase the cooling loop, I'm going to start producing just... The plastic's going to be very useful for... Oh, and we have to go down here and start getting at this diamond. Because this diamond is going to allow us to build window tiles. And the window tiles will be placed over here, which will allow these sculptures to influence all of these floors and they'll just get so much more you know influence from from these sculptures and we're just gonna bombard this whole freaking place with with decor but anyway thanks for hanging out guys and i'll see all of you in the next one bye for now